It's 2017 and Hearts of Iron 4 has definitely not lost its interest, am I right guys? It's still relevant, it's, it's relevant, right? Hey guys, it's me, Isaro Productions, and yeah, we're back here again. And unfortunately, you guys didn't hit 120,000 subscribers by the end of the week, so I'm not going to be reading Hitler's fan fiction, also known as Mein Kampf. So, you know what? No more sub goals, alright? They're just not possible. We're, we're just gonna say no more to that. I mean, 100, 130,000 subscribers by the end of the week, I'll do a face reveal. <laughs> Oh, that's not happening. Well, today, there was a mod we've been using for the past few games that I've not bothered to give much attention to, and no- Oh, I forgot the fucking Big Bite mod. God damn it. But no, it's not the Big Bite mod. It is the I Sorrow Productions mod. I know it's like the fifth one that's been made, but this one actually has no content whatsoever. But it is ruled by my foot. Welcome to New Zealand, a country that's been left off more maps than it's actually been put on. But New Zealand is full of some interesting characters, like this guy who just can't keep his eyes open. And what a better guy to lead our army of three divisions into battle than the guy that has no eyeballs, apparently. Aha, uh -huh, it's a funny I Sorrow Productions meme. It's Big Bite and Slough. No? No one laughing? Okay, well there's no focus tree for this mod, but New Zealand does have one, but you have to pay for it! Sorry, I just cried because I had to pay for something in a video game willingly. I, but I, it's okay guys, I've come back to my senses and I'm not gonna strip for the government, I'm gonna take over the entire world. In case you were wondering, I'm playing with the Road to 56 mod, which has such interesting extra focus as like, get rid of Hitler! And I mean, that's really gonna put Italy in a predicament if they get rid of Hitler. Uh, wait a second. That's right, dear viewer. Take a good look at my foot because I'm taking you into the darkness. This is what the ideal male body looks like. The madmen did it. They got rid of Hitler, okay? And I've got a sneaking suspicion it might have been Herman Goring. I, I, I don't, I'm not 100%. Things are getting spicy over here in China. They just annexed one of the Chinese warlords. And Mao's going to war with, wait, why is Manchuko green? And what the fuck is Japan? You and your retarded sorrow guy are all fucking worth the scum. After hundreds of years of British oppression of my foot, it's time to break free from the horrible British people. Fuck you, Stanley Baldwin. I'm going my own way. Um... Which way that is? Hitler's dead and France has turned to communism. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is if this is gonna be good or not. I don't, I don't know if it is. Oh, Mr. Goring, what should we should we take back Poland or should... No, we're declaring war on Switzerland. I'm completely insane. It's 1938. Uh, Germany hasn't got back any of the land it should have got back in this time because Mr. Goring wants to go to war with France immediately, apparently. I- this isn't good. Okay, I'm- I'm- I can't really follow the events of what is going on right now, but Mexico joined the common turn. Mex- Mex- This is all your fault, big bite. Fucking Stalin over here with a separate country. He's been living a lie under. Fuck you. Here's a thought. I feel like you're all kind of jumping the gun on what you should be doing and what you're not doing. Cause you, you haven't even killed China. What the fuck's going? <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, the Kiwi Empire. There is, is this new name we've rebranded. We've got a new flag and boy, is it an intuitive one. It's, uh, it's amazing. And thank you, mod developer. You've put a lot of effort into that picture. Really? Really? Well, just to uh, put another bullet in Goring's head, he decides to declare war on the Allies too. A bit. A, I'm. I. I. I, I might join you. At this point, I don't think anyone really has any idea what's going on because now the Netherlands is taking. I. This is going to be disgusting. Oh, just imagine a world where Hitler never came to power. Is this what you wanted, guys? Because I don't think this is what any of you wanted. Well, enough of that shit. We might as well start joining in and burning this world down. And where, why not start with the country that needs to be burned down the most? That's right, Australia. Ah, those weaponized kangaroos did nothing against my superior guy who can't open his eyeballs. Quick update on Europe. It's all a fucking mess. You see, fighting me just wasn't the best thing for you guys because I'm not scared of giant spiders and kangaroos with big old guns because, uh... 
you know, I can't see them. I can't see anything. Well, since the axes aren't doing too great, I'm going to go ahead and declare war on Japan. And with all the Australians I'm now conscripting, it's going to be easy breezy lemon squeezy. Oh yes, the most interesting part of World War II, when you have to just hop between islands. It's so much fun, guys. Uh, 39 99 to buy the game. Isn't, isn't, isn't this fun? No? You don't, you don't find this fun? Really? It's, it's so f- oh, Okay, we're done island hopping. Uh, Japan, are you just for that? Just for the never-ending island hopping, I'm going to turn you into a goddamn cricket pitch. So I thought it would be a bit unfair for the Germans since they got off to such a bad footing just to fully annex them. So I've left them with a bit of land under Hermann Goring with Italy still alive. And I, I want to see if Goring can pull something back out of his ass. I mean, Michael from Vsauce, I've got confidence in him. But the French are going to come back for round two, no doubt about it. Meanwhile over here, though we've subjugated the Japanese and started our conversion of the Japanese mainland into a cricket pitch. But hey, that's that. shang owns all of China, the Soviet Union took all of that shit. And uh, I guess what? I still have no fucking eyeballs to see any of this shit with. Somebody send me some eyeballs! Oh no, not the Empire of the Thundercrosser. <laughs> Oh no, they're going to a war with the the last bit of fascism in the world, Poland and the Empire of the Thundercrack. Oh, you're turning up to your VIP party in a Lamborghini. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, that's alright, but I'm turning up in my Bob Semple tank, fuck you. Oh, the cricket pitches are working, we're starting to core the Japanese mainland. That's right, Japanese people who love cricket, rugby. And that's all New Zealand really does, I think. What? You're turning up to your VIP party in a Bob Semple tank? Oh god, that's so last year. I've got the big Bob, you fucker! Well, what's that? The Saudi Arabia is a bad country joining a fascist regime and alliance. Oh, yeah, who would have seen that one coming? Oh, also, Germany's back at war like I predicted. It's, uh, it's a fucking mess. You know what? Fuck it, alright? I've called all of Japan. I have 2.3 million Japanese people willingly ready to fight for my empire. They are in no way coerced. They've not been imprisoned and forced to play rugby and cricket. And they've definitely, definitely n none of that. They, they want to fight. Definitely want to... They don't. I'm, I'm not. We're starting to make good progress over here. Mostly because the Soviets don't have any equipment for some reason. But uh, Germany and Italy, well... Yeah, they didn't last too long, unfortunately. But we're, we're gonna we're gonna come over there and we're gonna save the day with our 64 divisions. Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, boys, it's the famous New Zealand invention, the nuclear bomb. Oh, don't worry, we're also going to build some nuclear submarines. Another famous New Zealand invention, probably. What? Building nuclear reactors in a country full of horrible, monstrous creatures? What could go wrong? Oh no. Since the Soviet front was so slow, I went over here and took French Indochina and a, that, that other country in China that I can't remember the name of. Because, you know what's fun? Fighting in Siberia! If there's one thing I could do for the rest of my life, it's this. It's so much fun. Got a bit of good news, we're pushing through finally, but that's only because the Allies under good old Eggy McEggheads has decided to declare war on the Communists and uh, I'm not complaining alright. I. I'm losing millions of men, please send more. Hey Isaro, what's it like to fight the Soviets? Oh, you know, you just encircle hundreds of thousands of troops every single minute. Oh yeah, the famous moment in history where New Zealand dropped a nuclear bomb on Leningrad. Well, apparently dropping a nuke on Leningrad was all that it took, and now, oh god, there's, look at all those fucking pockets, that's disgusting. I don't even know who's who anymore. This is really fucking confusing. But hey, the UK is going absolutely crazy, invading everyone. So I think this war's gonna be over pretty soon. See, what did I tell you? It only took another seven months. Just kidding, it only took a month. But hey, the Kiwi Empire reigned supreme. We went ahead, we took over a nice portion of the world. But it was absolutely tiresome, tedious, and I had 
no fucking idea what actually went on over here in Germany. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a bit of a bit of a crazy one, really. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a bit a bit more different stuff than Hoy Forge because uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit it's a bit strenuous. I am gonna do the Great Meme War though. I'm just I'm running into a problem where having that many mods keeps fucking crashing the fucking game. So remember to leave a like on this video and give me some recommendations down below on what other mods I should do. Otherwise, just, uh, you know, go kill yourself.